Hi guys, welcome back. So I so I have posted something like uh, give your qu queries or ask your queries in the comment section, and almost all the queries was regarding the cognizant test which is coming on. So it is like the cognizant qualifier assessment, okay, or skill based assessment, whatever they are changing the names for different guys. But the thing is same. So the, mostly the queries were regarding that like exam pattern, like how to uh, prepare for that. Okay, all things were uh, asking regarding that mostly. Okay, so I'm going to talk the, like, about that in this video, like regarding the exam patterns and regarding uh, the exam uh, like difficulties, what type of questions you can expect and how to prepare for that. So even if you are CSD or intensive, this is going to be helpful for both of you. So I will suggest you should watch it uh, like till the end and carefully understand the patterns and all. Also one more thing like uh, almost uh, many guys were asking me to create a telegram group for better communication and like I have told that I am not be able to give much time in the telegram group but still like you guys want me to open one so that you can discuss and share study materials and all. I am opening one group and here is the link of the telegram group I am going to share with you in the description of this video. So just check the description and you can join from the description. Okay so that's it let's move on to our topic. So first is like when is the qualifier so one uh, first there are two types of students who are having qualifier first is the last batch of interns and the second one is the CSD guys okay so for the last batch of interns they were given two dates to choose so first was September last week okay or the 25th September's week so 25th September week is uh, like the last week it is almost uh, coming it, is, it has almost come so they are going to have their exams in few days and they are going to have one mock exam also before that they give their actual exam so in mock exam they can uh, easily understand after giving the mock exam like what is going to be their time level of questions what is going to be the difficulty what type of questions will come they will get a clear idea after that okay so these are like after few days only they will get to know and after that they will give the uh, qualifier exam uh, so and there are other batches are on uh, october middle and october 8 and one is uh, the last uh, exam date for csd which is given till now it is like 6th november week okay so uh, that is going to be the last exam uh, till now after that like after these first guys give their exams we will have a clear and appropriate idea uh, for the rest of the batches who are left to give the exam we will have a clear idea what is going to be the exam pattern what type of questions will come and all okay till now like the sample questions i have uh, provided you guys or the i have given solution those were uh, on the basis of previous batches or the last batches of interns like how they have given their mock qualifiers and qualifier exams what type of questions they received it was based on that okay so there is a like almost 99.99% chance that it will be similar type of questions coming okay not exact same but similar type similar level of difficulty questions will be coming for you guys also uh, and then what is the like exam level so exam level is moderate level okay exam is not too much difficult exam is not too much easy some guy like asked me like how many hours should i study uh, i'm like if it can core guys clear this exam how much how many hours should i study uh, in every day so see basically the hours of study you uh, hours you give in your study does not matter only thing that matters is like how much you study if you, you can understand and if you can uh, like uh, study a lot within one hour also then it's fine if you uh, like sit for the whole day and could not study a single thing that is also not fine okay so it does not matters the time you have to put effort daily be regular okay because uh, like if you are from core branch and all and you have no knowledge of coding and you only have like few days left for the as qualifier assessment i will suggest you one thing like not for a single day miss coding okay do practice coding whatever code things you learn in first day suppose you are learning uh, java from the basics so just learn a small part of java on the first day then practice some coding of that like writing some coding okay 
writing some coding you have to make it a habit you have to like write some small codes from hacker rank or geeks for geeks or whatever you want but write some code every day whatever you learn like suppose you are uh, learning uh, if else and switch case today so learn and solve some easy questions uh, using switch case or if else or for loop uh, from hacker rank and all okay but you have to write that in the system you have to write it in your computer and solve it practice the writing thing okay because writing uh, like writing codes is a habit which you have to create within few days okay you don't have much time so if you are from code bench obviously because if you are already from cac and have a habit of coding then it is fine for you you no need to write every day codes okay you just need to practice uh, like sample questions or previous year type of question and all but you need to practice uh, and learn collections also so i'm uh, asking you again and again first you have to learn the java basics and basics i mean for loop while loop uh, switch case if fails you have already understood uh, watching my video that there is a switch case is also used uh, two times in the question so like that is also an important thing and you need to understand how to split a string you need to understand how to create object of an uh, class okay you need to understand like how to change data types in java like from string to integer okay how to like st uh, split a string and store the outputs in a, a single array these things you need to understand after learning the basic java things you need to understand these things and then you need to understand the java collections uh, check the first video i have made regarding the sample questions you can understand that the main focus you should give in the java collections are on maps list set these things okay especially on maps and list okay because the questions mostly come from java collections are focused on these two uh, collections okay on the use of these two collections like uh, you have to uh, traverse a map you have to find some somewhere you have to find the key somewhere you need to find the value from a given key somewhere you need to make the uh, all the keys and you have to make the, make a list of all the keys okay so, so this type of questions is going to come so you have to uh, prepare for that sql questions see uh, everyone is also also asking about sql questions and all uh, sql questions i have received are not clear like the answer is there but the question is not there clearly there is no like clear photo of the table and all so like i cannot uh, make a video regarding that yet because like you will not understand i will also not be able to make you understand or describe it without the tables image i cannot uh, make you uh, understand right how it is working and all so so wait for few days once uh, um, one batch got give their exam we will have a clear idea regarding the uh, sql questions as well so i will if uh, like i have any uh, news i will just give you the news and i will just give you the uh, like sql question solution and all so also i am making the telegram group today so you guys if you guys have any uh, sql questions uh, of previous batch qualifiers or mock qualifiers you can just uh, give that in the group to help each other and i will also try to make a video regarding solving them and all so that's it like sql questions also going to come for mostly coding there's also one question like they are going to be mcq or coding so java and sql these are not going to be mcq these are going to be coding questions okay at least that is the trend uh, we can we are seeing since like uh, few batches okay because java and sql they only mostly ask uh, coding questions like java was these type of questions which i have already shown you sql was like three or four tables where will be uh, linked like foreign key and all and uh, you have to uh, retrieve data using these tables okay so this type of sql coding should you should also practice and java you should also practice so like how to prepare first i will suggest first uh, learn java or sql one thing first do not like mix it up whatever is easy for you first learn that completely then go for the second thing okay uh, like some guys were asking like give us a like something uh, a resource from where we can uh, learn sql uh, easily so i in my channel i have a playlist for sql okay that is like the basics of sql for like if you have you have no idea what is sql and if you want to learn the easiest way you want to learn sql tables foreign keys how to retrieve uh, uh, values using sub query to, uh, mix two or three types of queries in a single query all these things if you want to learn just go check my playlist it is like almost 12 or 13 videos of uh, 6 to 7 minutes 
you can just watch it in two hours okay and if you have already know if you have the basic idea of sql but you still want to revise it first you should also go check it once just make it, watch it in 2x uh, so it will be like a uh, faster for you you will understand if you have clear idea you watch it in 2x if you have no idea watch it in 1x okay just uh, go through it then if you have not I any idea of sql practice it sometimes okay practice writing some query regarding that i have solved many questions in that uh, playlist okay yeah given some data and all so you can practice that also without checking the answer there by pausing the video and then check if your answer is uh, like okay or not okay also there is many ways to write a single sql query like there is like for a single sql question you can write it two or three ways for, for the answer will be similar so that's it i'm going to say for preparation because preparation kit they have already given they are already sending them uh, in mail the preparation links you can also prepare from there okay so like after learning the basics of sql you should move on to the like uh, for sql questions with uh, dates date times and this all this is if this you will not find in the playlist you should like learn it from somewhere else like whatever you resource they have given you can check from there also this date time and all things you have to learn from out but all group by uh, like count these things are on the playlist you can learn it easily i, I will say that in the easiest way from the playlist uh, in my channel but like for the date time thing is not yet there you should like uh, learn the date time and day year month these things from somewhere else and then practice sql you can like complete sql within five to six days uh, in easily okay if you give proper time and learn it uh, properly you can learn it easily see this sql and coding these are all uh, things which you cannot like uh, you cannot mug up it okay you cannot mug it up you have to understand it you have to apply it you have to practice it only then you will understand so it is not something which will like you will read 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 you have to write yourself also like you have to try to solve questions then you will understand after like you can do it like one one week for sql or five to six, six days for sql then you can move on to java also for some guys while has a confusion regarding if there will be uh, MCQs regarding HTML, CSS, web UI and all or not. So just check the mail you have received. If in your mail uh, it is written that there will be uh, web UI, HTML and all, then for you there will be these things but it will be mostly MCQ, there will be 10 to 12 MCQ questions. It will be a very small part, it will have a very small weightage, okay, Re compared to the coding parts. Like if suppose there are uh, 10 MCQs, there will be uh, all uh, 12 MCQs, the total weightage will be 100 and for if suppose there are 5 coding questions, 3 Java, 2 SQL, uh, each of them will be 100, 100, 100, okay. So suppose so there, are, there are like 5 questions, so 5 into 100, 500 and for 12 MCQs total there will be 100, so 100 more, 600 total value uh, numbers will be there and out of 600 whatever you get it will be converted to like a percentage and if your percentage is more than 70 or more than equals to 70 you will be passing so the mcq is a small part of it okay the main part is coding round you have to focus on the coding mainly mcq for mcq you can learn html uh, css javascript based mcqs from like just go and search in google this uh, like javascript based mcqs html based mcq so we will like uh, get a uh, one many links of hundreds of questions there just understand those uh, practice those to try to like practice uh, by writing uh, codes for html css for just few no marks of mcqs you will miss out on the main coding parts of java and sql so i will suggest don't uh, give much time on the mcq part give your main focus give your main focus to the coding part give a small time to the mcq part okay give your time to the mcq part also like if it is written in your pdf that there will be mcqs there will be mcqs because they have written it clearly if you are like uh, if it is not written there won't be okay if it is written like only java and sql questions will be there then only java and sql questions will be there if it is written that html web you are these things will be there then will be these things with mc uh, like these things will be mcqs okay so like whatever they give just uh, mcqs are like uh, of least uh, uh, weightage I will suggest because like they will have a very least uh, marks compared to the codings okay the MCQ also have weightage but they, it is less compared to the coding so once you are done with the coding good you can uh, like uh, you can give one day to each like suppose one day HTML one day CSS one day JavaScript one day web UI okay you can give three days for the whole MCQ syllabus it will be done but 
uh, you have to put effort like two uh, we got two and a half week for this java and sql total okay so that's it uh, go join the telegram group help each other i may not be like able to answer all your questions there i may not be able to uh, give replies there all the time okay but still uh, everyone like i'll suggest if you, all of you have any answer to anyone else's query just give your answers to them give help help them and suggest uh, give the study materials or youtube links whatever wherever you are study from mission new information you are getting just share it with help each other so that it helps them just don't create confusion and panic uh, like be polite and all that's like the basic things like don't respect each other and all and help each other that's it